everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Zawa together. And look at these goats! <laughs> look at these goats just chilling here on top of a volcano. Get it? Chilling because it's hot? <laughs> ah. Anyway, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Friday. And I'm back here doing a little bit of building. Uh, we got to get off of this volcano, though, uh, because uh, there's this is not where I want to be. I just wanted to come up here and say hi to the goats, really. So I got to get back down to my little uh, island down here. Nope, wrong way. Down here, down there. There it is. I knew. I know exactly where I'm going. Don't worry, not lost at all. Uh, because I saw, I spied with my little eye. This, right here. All right. Important. Put in a cage before opening. From Orskull. He got myself a lamp. Lammer. Lammer gear. Lammer gear. Lammer gear. Yeah, whatever one of those things are. These are, I believe, the desert birds. And I believe if you tame them, they can, they'll can they attack enemies for you and stuff. Like, lift them up in the air. They're actually kind of cool. But, obviously, uh, he says to put it in a cage before I uh, release it. So, because otherwise, I guess it'll just completely fly away. So, let's just kind of break this thing down so we can get this out of the area here. Thank you, Orskull, for that. Uh, my inventory sucks. Uh, thank you, Orskull, for the, for the bird. Thank you for giving me the bird. <laughs> All right, we'll stick it in here. I've been collecting a few animals along the way. This one right here, I caught a boar. I got my revenge. The boars that killed me in episode one, I got my revenge. I caught one of them. In fact, I think I caught two. Yeah, I caught two of them. One of them was a baby, I think. Uh, I just couldn't leave it out there all homeless, you know? Uh, caught it by just using myself as bait. <laughs> had it run right at me. As, uh, if you guys did catch the live stream, we caught these African lions by doing something very similar. But we got a bunch of different animals and stuff caught. And I think it's time that we actually go and, uh, and well, probably not the mushrooms, and we actually build an exhibit for something. So the question is, is which exhibit are we going to be building? And the answer to that is, uh, this guy. <laughs> the tarantulas. Tarantulas and maybe even if we get some time, uh, this guy. <laughs> the scorpion. Okay, so maybe some bugs. Let's do some bugs to start off the, the season for our first exhibit because I need to get them a nice home because if I'm not mistaken, now if you guys play Zawa Evolved and you know this, uh, let me know if I've got this completely wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, they are used to create these things, this stuff, Venom Bottle. Apparently the way you get a Venom Bottle to make, oh that's just regular wool, okay. Does that be, except any Minecraft wool, okay it can be any color wool. Uh, apparently the way you get a Venom Bottle in Zawa Evolved is to milk a scorpion or a tarantula. And I guess you can only do that like once a day. So I kind of have to get to that because I am way, way behind. So if, as you can see over there, that like rib cage looking thing, that little monster thing laying there is actually <laughs> supposed to be the land. Uh, let's go take a peek at this real quick. I've been doing a little bit of terraforming. Okay, got a little bit done. Uh, so here's the entrance. So I still got to work on the docks and everything. That's still a thing that's coming. But this is the entrance way where you go in and you're going to go inside like a little cave or tunnel or overhang kind of thing. Now that overhang thing is not going to last for very long. It's probably going to come to an end right around here actually. I don't really want to make it too too much, you know. But we do have our top super chat, which by the way, Tinikin, big shout out to you. You're the one with the top super chat. I did the math conversion on uh, on the Franks <laughs> and it came out to $11.15. So you are the top super chat uh, currently. And then as well as thank you to Peter and Todd for uh, donating during the, the most recent live stream. Remember, if you guys want to get your names immortalized at the zoo, that's how you do it. So that's where the that's where the billboard of sponsors is going to be. Right at the entrance of the zoo, uh, right along the cave walls here. And if I need to, I will adjust the shape of this cave wall to make it fit. So this terrain... Okay, let's have a serious talk, people. All right, like right, let's, let's get serious here. Uh, this terrain, this whole idea I had for a tropical island has completely... Well, hmm. I don't want to say completely changed. It's changed quite a bit in my head. After I built this sign here, I was like, this looks cool. <laughs> this looks like really cool. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if the whole island was very similar to this in a sense? Like it was a lot of cliff edges, a lot of elevated terrain with like the paths leading between it. And if any of you guys have played uh, Valheim, think like Mistlands, but without the mist and a little bit more vegetation like that. Wouldn't it be really cool? So it's kind of like a tropical island, but with a whole lot more rockiness to it and elevation change. It's, <laughs> it's going to take a lot of work. But that's what my, my plan is actually going forward. And so knowing that, I moved forward and started building this. Now, this is not a rib cage at all. This is actually some wire framing that I got done so far to mark out where the land is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I, I spent all that time digging this out, and now I'm going to end up raising it way higher than what it was before. In a, on a brighter note, I'm using the material I gathered from it to do this. 
You're going to definitely do it to conserve the resources way by making a hollow inside because, man, that would take a while to fill that all in. But, uh, so I'm working on doing the wireframe right now. I'm thinking this, this bay right here will have a nice big coastline. Like a cliff edge coastline, which you might want to make that more vertical there, or whatever. Big coastline kind of thing, and eventually, ooh, I'm in the water. Eventually, it'll it'll kind of dip down. I got to do something over there. I'm kind of winging it as I go. I don't really have a good layout yet for the zoo. I'm just doing this first part right here, and then I'll worry about designing the layout once I have a little bit more of a concrete idea in mind, which this is getting there, of what I'm trying to do. Now, if you notice right here, that I did a little bit of detailing on some of the stuff. I added a little path blocks going in here. I got this little, I took advantage of the water logging thing that I was so excited for, and we got this like little bit of a river kind of flowing through the rocks here, and then you can see that there's water coming down right there as well. And that you can see smoke billowing up kind of right there. Now remember, this is kind of a volcanic area. Uh, the subtle hint would be that giant volcano right... Come on, get over here. Right over there. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of volcanic activity in the area. One of which, uh, one thing that is kind of uh, related to volcanic activity is geysers or hot springs. So if over here, I actually got myself a little hot spring built. And that's the thing that's pouring water down uh, that's flowing across there, so... Probably not a good idea when you think about how people are dipping their toes in it. But if you guys have learned anything, um, it's that <laughs> my zoos are not exactly safe. So, uh, <laughs> that's a little lesson learned. What's, what's Finney saying? Uh, by the way, Grimmery, uh, now you have that darn uh, song stuck in my head. No, I didn't even realize what happened. Oh, yeah, we were, we were uh, con congratulating uh, uh, Goggy here on, uh, on getting uh, isn't, it, uh, isn't It Iron Pick. And uh, yeah, I think that's supposed to be a reference to, like, isn't it ironic, you know? The Landis set song, so then we were kind of just singing that. Now it's stuck in Finney's head. Sucks to be him. But all right, it looks like it's getting nighttime. I'm going to take a little power nap real quick. All right, so uh, this area right here I'm thinking would make a great tarantula exhibit. So I'm going to have to design a way to actually access this, too. I left this kind of a flat wall specifically for this purpose here. Now I'm thinking the tarantula and the scorpion, are they like mortal enemies? Can I put them in the same cage? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to put them in the same area, but I guess they might have wildly different wildly different areas. Well, come to think of it, I caught the scorpion on uh, this island over here, and this island is a uh, tropics region. This is also a happy tiger's place. My bad. I stole the scorpion from here. Hope you don't mind. I'll give it back to you. Maybe. The... Uh... <laughs> But uh, I caught it over here, and then I caught the tarantula near spawn, the one that bit me in like the first episode, um, somewhere over here in like this, uh, this savanna area. So I I thought tarantulas are primarily like getting like um, where are they, where are tarantulas? <laughs> I thought I thought they were primarily in like jungly areas, so I kind of wanted to design it like that. And then as far as the scorpion are more, I think that's more deserty area. So why don't I do a dual exhibit to start the season off? And we'll build the tarantula and scorpion exhibit here. I do have to have access to get in, so I'm thinking maybe like an iron door or something on the back, so I can get in there, hopefully not get bit by the things or stung by them, and uh, and milk them for their venom so that I can use them to make trank arrows. So, yeah, I'm thinking that's it. Now, what I'm going to have to do is design something. I'm thinking like having like a kind of like an arch overhang right here, and then like have like the cave almost be the divider, so it creates like two separate chambers. I might have to rework this. Uh, this side here just a little bit to be give myself just a little bit more room that's come on you work with me here there we go so that I have a little bit more room here uh, yeah, let's do something like that there we go now I have I have more room so I can create proper exhibits for each of them all right so I guess now it's time to put my building cap on and uh, get to work
All right, I'm thinking that with this, we should be able to build a decent tarantula exhibit and scorpion exhibit. We got ourselves the uh, we got ourselves the land built now above it at least, so that it actually kind of looks like it's built into the hillside. I think it turned out all right. I might need to do a little bit more with grass. I didn't do anything regarding like the uh, the foliage or anything like that. That's all all to come. I'm gonna have to do another live stream coming up here pretty soon because uh, there's gonna be so much terraforming in this series. Like in this season, it's gonna be absolutely insane. But I think we got a good start here. Um, I think that this is uh, gonna look pretty snazzy once I get the uh, once I get the exhibits added. So let's go ahead and uh, and finish kind of squaring this off just a wee bit. Uh, that way it gives me a little something something to work with right there now I'll tweak that a little bit as needed, but that's where the glass is going to be is like right here actually so Let's uh, knock this out here a little bit. So that's where the glass is gonna be now I'm gonna actually keep it stone normally uh, like last season. I put down like cobblestone. I think this time I'm going to just keep it stone and It's gonna try to blend into the actual cliffside. I think will look pretty nifty um Something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Getting kind of creative here. <laughs> Something kind of like this. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of tweaking, I think. Um, I don't want this to be completely flat. Yeah, okay, that's coming together. All right, so I'm going to need to grab some glass to, to put in the front of this thing, because I don't want these uh, these bugs actually escaping, obviously, with them being able to sting you and, uh, and stun you and all that other stuff and poison you. I don't really want them escaping. That would be really bad for business. Uh, so <laughs> I have to go make sure that I put glass in front of this to keep them contained. Now, obviously, they can just walk right out the back right now, but that's because I have to add the back of the exhibit still. I guess I could do that real fast, too. I didn't actually include that on the time lapse because I'm a big old da 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 but uh, I did... I did uh, b -b -b pressing all sorts of wrong buttons right here. Um, but I do need to grab some more stone as well because I think I'm... Hold on, I got cobblestone, but I need to grab more stone. So I gotta go grab some blocks, get things ready, uh, and then we're gonna get to work on building a jungle-looking kind of area here for the tarantula and a uh, deserty-looking kind of area for the scorpion. All right, so let's talk block palette real quick here because we got to come up with a uh, type of blocks that kind of just show desert. And I'm just going to say sand, okay? <laughs> sand is probably going to be one of them. We'll grab a couple sacks of that for... Uh, remember, we're doing jungle and desert, so let's start off with desert here. Sand, I'm going to actually grab some sandstone too because I can probably have a little bit of fun with that. <clears throat> and then we also got um, gravel. Gravel would be a bad block to have with me too. Don't really need a whole lot of that, especially when it comes to jungle. We're doing two different biomes at the same time, so my brain is going to be just mush by the time I get done processing this. What other ones? I need uh, I need this stuff, actually. Give me some of this right here, because we're going to make ourselves some uh, green concrete powder for the jungle, for sure. Let me grab uh, some more gravel and some more sand. We'll whip that up real fast. Bam. There we go. Got ourselves a full stack of green concrete powder. That should do nicely. Uh, let's throw the extra stuff back because uh, my inventory is going to get clogged real fast. All right, we have some grass stuff here. Oh, there is Shade Slayer. Let's give him a solid wave. Maddie just joined as well. We got a bunch of people actually joining in right now. Uh, Goggies is actually, this is the first day on the server for that player, and you could actually be on the server too. Remember, anyone who does any, uh, who joins my $5 Patreon can get whitelisted on this server, so. Um, you can come and play with us. Uh, Maddie is apparently having bad connections, so she went bye-bye. <laughs> so you can come and play with us, though. So remember, anyone who joins $5 Patreon, you get whitelisted on the server. Come and join us. Uh, but all right, we got a bunch of grass blocks. We're going to need that for the jungle part for sure. Uh, do I have Podzel? Podzel. Where, where is Podzel? I have a uh, mycelium. I have mud blocks. Oh, these are the uh, 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 the biomes you'll go mud blocks too. I don't think animals are going to get stuck in these, so I'm really excited to try those. Actually, you know what? We can probably use some of those in the jungle. Uh, hopefully, I don't get a tarantula stuck in them. I thought I had Podzel somewhere, but I have no idea where to put it. Maybe I don't have Podzel. I kind of want Podzel for the uh, for the jungle part. Where can I get, where can I get some Podzel mini map here? Tell me, tell me these things. Where's Podzel? Right there, in the Redwood region to the west of my islands. Time for me to take a little flight. Oh yeah, we got some puzzle in this area. Look at this, right here. It's almost like it was made for digging up. <laughs> All right, let's get to digging. All right, I grabbed a couple of stacks of uh, pods. These red bromelade uh, plants look really nifty. I kind of want to squirt some of these things into the jungle, too, because I think these will look pretty good. I, I mean, I don't know if they're actually like a jungle flower or jungle plant, but I think they look really good. We have yellow versions of them over on uh, on my island there. This one's just floating in the middle of nowhere. 
Uh, but I, these red ones, I think, look really cool. All right, now, I think it's time to get out of here before the orcas eat me uh, and get back to the zoo. Okay, so we have some blocks to work with. Let's start off with the desert area here for the sports. And we're going to go ahead and remove all this stuff. Let me see if I can't get some uh, lights in here while I do this. Hey, look at that. There's iron. Don't need that. Got myself an iron farm. So I'm already at that stage where I just see iron and I go yawn. All right. Let's, uh, let's carve this thing back here. And then we're going to fill all this in, starting off with sand. And that'll be our canvas to work with. Because uh, after all, it is a desert, but I don't want to just keep it just that, obviously. I think that looks really boring. Alright, now this is a very, very straight line here. I'm not really digging that, so I'm going to blend this. I know that the uh, the glass is going to go right here, so it should kind of have some kind of barrier, which is tempting to switch it back to cobble, but I'm, no, no, bad. Um, I'm going to leave that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of blend this in slightly with the stone like that. Just, I mean, it's a little... It almost looks like a yin yang. <laughs> it's just uh, one little switch right there, but I think that works out uh, works well. Now we do have this cool sandstone stuff too, which gives the, the this a little different texture in here. So I kind of want to sprinkle sandstone and maybe even whoops, maybe even uh, flip uh, one of the blocks of a of a stair upside down. Do I have? Oh, I do have it. It's in my inventory. I see right there. Check this out. I'm carrying one of these stone cutters around here because then I can just take this and I can just get like one or two stairs. You know, I don't have to like go nuts with this. <laughs> get like two stairs all right now the reason why i like stair blocks uh cobbles or uh sandstone stairs remember if you place them upside down you get the cobble design on the top here but it's in sandstone texture i really like that i think it looks really cool all right one other thing that i want to do if i can find the backpack i think it's the one i have in my hot bar right here i don't have my backpack sorted yet for like ground blocks and stuff yet so that's still a thing but uh let's go ahead and make ourselves some coarse dirt because i'm going to need that too Used up a little bit of what I had on the path uh, over there where the billboard of sponsors is. So let's sprinkle in some coarse dirt in here as well. Not too much, though. And then I did want to actually get just straight up sandstone down as well because I think that adds a cool little block texture change there. Although it's going to be very hard to even notice. All right, so then uh, this coarse dirt actually maybe I can do a little bit heavier in places. Let's change that one over too. And then let's grab some grass blocks. Grass in the desert? Nope, we're gonna pad that. We're gonna turn those into path blocks. I think that looks way better. Because obviously grass in the desert doesn't make much sense. However, we are gonna wanna put a couple pieces of actual grass in here because that's how we're gonna add like foliage and stuff. I can't put that on path blocks. Uh, is that it for the desert-y looking things? I think so. I think that's all I really wanna do. So, Goggy's getting the, is, uh, this isn't for volleyball, Great. I'm making a net or something, GG. Alright, so I think that's pretty good for the, the land uh, in the desert, except for I do want to add a slight little, can I do this to sand? No, I can't, okay, I'm just curious, I know how to play Minecraft. Let's grab a couple of these things here, eat those on my inventory for a second. Let's add a little bit of texture change to part of this here so that it's not just so flat the entire time. Already that looks way better. All right, sweet. Now, let's move on over to the jungle-esque one here. All right, so we're gonna, actually, I, I might wanna just keep, <laughs> I just wanna keep all the grass in there. I just plowed through the land, but actually, I kinda wanna keep all the grass. And the same thing here, it doesn't really look so good with uh, with the, it not, or with it creating a straight line right here. I don't really like how that looks. Man, my inventory is god-awful, so we are gonna have to squeeze something just to, or squeeze something in the backpack just to make room. Uh, just so that I can actually do some building here. That looks pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and add the glass just so I can get this out of my inventory as well. So this is going to sit right here, recessed in just a little bit. Now, this is actually just regular old glass. I was kind of nervous because when I looked in chisel, I didn't see anything. But but this glass, woo, that's, that's, that's wrong. This glass actually looks pretty good. So yeah. All right, I think that looks that looks good. All right, and then the same thing for the tarantula exhibit real fast. Ta-da! All right, so we got the glass in place. Now I can't actually get in there unless I run around. So let's just bust this open real quick. Set those right there so I can get into each exhibit. Beautiful. All right, let's work on the, on the jungle floor a little bit. So we got these mud blocks. I'm really hoping nothing gets stuck in those things. They're not the same things as the Biomes of Plenty one. Podzel, and of course, we got some... Uh, green concrete powder as well as some coarse dirt. So let's start breaking up the ground here a little bit to give it a little different texture. You do slow down on the mud, I've noticed, like when you're walking. 
but it doesn't uh, change your, your Y elevation at all, so it's not like uh, I'm sinking into it, so that's good. All right, it's subtle, but I think that that adds, actually adds quite a bit of uh, interesting depth to this here, where it changed the, the floor up a little bit, but we are, of course, going to be adding path blocks too. Got to fix the wall every time we do this, and I don't have any stone on me. <laughs> But that's definitely not right. I think I just went a little too overzealous and knocked out the block on the other side, too. There we go. All right, and we're going to add a couple more path blocks in here, too, to kind of mat down this area as well. Okay, that looks kind of like a jungle floor. I mean, just the bare basics of it. And that kind of looks like a desert, the bare basics of that as well. Sweet. All right, so now we can actually stash quite a few blocks and make a little bit, room my, uh, little bit of room in my inventory because it's going to come down to a little bit more like foliage stuff. And I actually don't... Oh, I didn't use gravel at all. Hold on a second. I'm going to squeeze that in somewhere into the, the desert, just a, a block or two. There we go. All right. Put them in, put gravel in both of them, actually. So now it's going to come down to foliage. Now, I don't actually have a lot of foliage, which makes me a little bit nervous because I got to go see what I even have. I just obviously grabbed those bromelades there, which I think will look really cool in here. But I also have some jungle leaves, and I believe they're in here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There's some right there. I can use those too. Whatever this thing is looks definitely like a, uh, a jungle. <laughs> So I gotta do to add up this guy here. Let's start off with the jungle one because that's where I think most of the foliage is gonna be. Oh, lighting, lighting. Do I have any glowstone on me? I don't think I have any glow. Oh, I do, I do have some glowstone on me. All right, let's uh, do a little hidden recess lighting here actually because I think that's gonna be the, the way to go. I'm also gonna need to grab back my stone here because I seem to always be needing it. Let's just take a stack out of there forever and ever now. Um, and we're gonna have to redo that right there and then dig down and then we'll put the light stars right there. And cover it up with the leaf block and I'll have to squeeze one more in here too because this is a little dark in this area I don't want anything spawning in here with the tarantula now lighting inside of the desert exhibit is gonna be a little bit trickier because I'm not really gonna have plants in there do I did I ever collect any like dead leaves is that something I, I probably should have if I ever saw them out there which I probably did I did not I might have to go on a little hunt for dead leaves because that would help with uh, hiding some of the lighting in there oh speaking of lighting it is nighttime and creepers be creeping so I need to take a nap Ah, never mind. Fini beat me to it. Wasn't even uh, able to hit my head on the pillow, and it was already passing to daytime. All right, so this thing definitely looks kind of like it belongs in here somewhere, but I can't place it anywhere. What, what's the point of having... I can't place it on gravel. I can't place it on podzel. I can't place it on grass. I can't place this period. What's the point of this plant? <laughs> is, that, is it sand? Is this supposed to be on a sand block? It is. Interesting. I thought this was a jungle. You know what? It's going in here. There you go. Enjoy your time. <laughs> I thought that was a jungle plant. Apparently not. All right, let's throw in a couple of these things in here then, too. And, oh, I do want to get the, the actual, like, bushes kind of going first. So let's kind of, uh, something like that in the corner here. And maybe a little bit of a vine kind of going up the top. Oh, this is, that could actually be really good because we could actually have this kind of, like, dangling down from up top. Hoping that the tarantula doesn't escape at some point, because that would be a little awkward. There we go. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Definitely overgrown there. I think adding the bushes in it makes it adds it for a really nice touch. And it kind of looks very cluttered. Like, you know, it's going to give uh, the tarantula quite a bit of space to hide, which makes it very difficult to probably get in there and milk without getting poisoned. But you know what? That's a, that's a me problem, not a you problem. So just enjoy the exhibit. <laughs> All right limited big time on what I have for um, uh, what I have at my disposal here but this turned out pretty good so far I can always add in like a uh, tall grass too but I, I think well, I have cat cattail and I have a prickly pear cactus which is going immediately in here because it belongs in there so yeah I don't think that's gonna hurt the animals because I can walk through it without even taking any damage and I don't think that's an armor thing either I think I can just walk right through this thing yeah, okay. So, no, I think that one's good. I think we're good on that. Um, I do have to think for a second, because these bugs only have one heart of health, and I think I can set them down without hurting them, but if I put down... Uh, if I try to catch them again, they're going to get hurt, so I might want to go get like a splash potion of healing and just hit them with that, uh, just to get them back up to full health. I don't think I'm going to need to move them again, but, you know, who knows. Boy, there's really not much else I need to do. <laughs> to do in here other than uh, go find some dead leaves so uh mini map i need you desperately again tell me where i can find some dead leaves boy i tell you i have not actually found many places that would provide me with some dead leaves 
Uh, the closest thing that I can find actually is this bog right here, and I'm tempted to go take a peek at that and just see if there are any dead esque leaves. If not there, then there is this like maple forest kind of thing right here that has some interesting colored leaves. I could probably snag some of the orange ones from here. Yo, he's free willing it! He's free willying it! That was awesome! He was it like floating in the air. That was crazy. Alright, so this is supposedly the bog area. And these are regular oak leaves they're saying there. They look pretty gross in this biome though. That's not exactly what I was hoping for though. Yeah, because if I shear these, these are just gonna give me regular oak leaves. Hmm. Alright, well I guess I can head over to this biome right here, the the seasonal forest, seasonal birch forest, and get some of the leaves there. I think there's brown ones there as well, so that should work. Pretty looking forest, that's for sure, and I think this is the guy I want. Brown birch leaves. Now these are not dead leaves, but they definitely kind of look like them. We got uh, a little over three stacks. That should uh, hold us over for now. Let's say I head back to the zoo as the sun sets here and uh, get to place in some of these. I suppose now is as good a time as any to check the lighting in here anyway. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's put one right back here actually. Pop that out right there, glowstone down, and then let's get some of these leaf blocks here. Cover that up completely. So yeah, I think that'll work pretty good as far as like a lone bush, like kind of just chilling there. Now I also need to put one somewhere over here to kind of light this up in this area as well. All right, I mean that does light it up fairly well in here. Of course, let's get rid of this torch so I can see things a little better. It's just two glowstone blocks. That might be enough. Eh, hopefully it's enough. If I have some problems with spawning, I'll probably have to come back in here and change that. But I think that should be good. <laughs> all of that work and all I use is like two or three or like well, four of those leaf blocks. Totally worth it. All right. Now, as far as any other foliage here in the desert, uh, there's like, isn't there like desert grass? Am I, am I imagining that or is that a thing? But yeah, there is desert grass. I wonder if I could go snag some of that because I don't actually have any of that either. I got to spend some time just looking around and seeing where I, where some of these, uh, some of these plants are. Maybe I should go visit Maddie. <laughs> I'm guessing though that they're probably gonna have desert grass. I don't know in the desert or in the mesa area So maybe I should head back to spawn plus there's new shops that sprang up in, in the uh, spawn town And plus we can also check to see if I made any profit in my shop So let's head back to spawn town take a trip out to the desert and see if we can't get ourselves a little bit of desert grass Oh, yeah, listen Maddie. I've been doing some work on the tunnels in the nether here We're actually kind of getting a very colorful looking hub together here connecting everyone's uh everyone's locations here which i think is cool that's a big pile of garbage okay yeah we got a shop that sprang up right across from mine uh so actually real quick before we get too carried away let's actually hop in here and see did we make any profit whatsoever aha we did money 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 we actually made a oh, we actually made a few right there look at that sweet we made five diamonds looks like people are buying the uh Buying the turkey eggs mainly. I guess they're looking to get turkeys on there and their uh, zoos and stuff Or maybe they're gonna turn them into food uh, It's their choice. I'll keep pumping up the turkey eggs though. Uh, thank you to everyone who purchased anything from uh, from turkey balls <laughs> uh, Finney's flower pot uh, shop. Oh look at this. Ooh, he has all oh, black roses I thought they were wither roses for a second. I was like look at him go got a couple a couple of them Maybe that's what this one's for right here But yeah, he's got a whole bunch of Oh, look at that. Those look really cool. I need to get some flowers inside of, like, the jungle area for the tarantula. Which one looks like it belongs in jungle? That one looks kind of like it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this one kind of looks like it belongs in a jungle, doesn't it? Although it does look, it kind of looks uh, very similar to the uh, things that we already have in there. This one kind of looks like it belongs in a jungle. Firecracker flower bush. That sounds awesome. All right, we're going with the fire uh, firecracker one. What is this thing, firecracker? Uh, uh, one diamond per half stack. Well, I just happen to. Do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have an inch chest in here? I know a place where there is one. Bam! There we go. Got myself some firecracker flower bushes. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna definitely be adding those into the uh, tarantula exhibit. Uh, any other shops? This is something new. Look at the creeper face. I'm guessing gunpowder. Uh, and with this culture, uh, uh, oh, he has the signs backwards. Okay, T Rex is mixed mob. A uh, loot shoop, <laughs> including uh, raid drops, monument drops, creeper drops, and wizard scout drops. Oh, that could be kind of good. I guess it's on its way though. That looks like a really good creeper design. T Rex, keep it going. That looks good. What other shops do we got around here? That's new. That looks like a grand build. I don't think there's anything else around here. The bee. Yeah, Grand's wool shop. 
that's not a door. <laughs> oh, are these firecracker bushes? Uh, things that she used to? Nice. All right, so it looks like any color wool I want. Oh yeah, she's been she's been busy. Holy cow. Uh, re oh, she already named these things. Replace stack with one diamond. That's okay. So it's 16 pieces of wool for one diamond. Okay, I like it. Let's see, do I need wool for anything? For anything? For anything? I mean, they're great for hiding. Uh, carpets are great for hiding um, light sources too. But I don't think I need anything at the moment. But if I need wool, I will definitely come back here and purchase some of them. And of course, Ore Skull's shop is still here. Which, um, I only have 15 arrows. Hold on, let me just pop in here real quick. Uh, two, uh, arrows, two stacks for a diamond. Oh, he's got two stacks in there. Sweet. All right, well, I will buy those. All right, there. Now I actually have some arrows because I've been only rocking 15 for a while now. All right, so there's still a couple of places available. Who's that? Happy Tiger got that one too. A random guy. So there's still some shop plot, uh, plots available. So if you are thinking about joining the server and want to open up a shop, we still got spots available, but it is starting to fill up pretty quickly. All right, now, what was I here for again? Why, why am I here? Oh, yeah, the real reason why I was here is because I was going to go see if I could find some desert grass. All right, here we are out in the desert. And here's these plant things I was wondering about before. In fact, I might want to grab a couple of these things. Do I Do I even need to? No, I guess I don't need these shears on. I'm going to grab some of these things. I need to start collecting plants because that's a big thing for decorating, and I don't have anything. Uh, oh, speaking of cool things, like, what's what's that? That looks really cool. Cochia? Cochia? Can you pick them up? All right, well, these plants are all well and good and stuff, but there's one problem is that uh, I don't see any desert grass. Now, I'm thinking maybe that's either the grass that you find in the oasis biome or that's grass that you find in the mesa biome. So I'm going to have to probably head to a mesa and take a peek. Well, there's an otter. As you may know, otters are typically found in very arid savanna mesa areas. They're a common animal <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Those things are usually found near water. I have no idea why there's an otter here. Grab myself a stack of dead bushes. That's good. I can probably lay off those for a little bit now. Where is this desert grass? I'm, the only thing I can think of then is an oasis, which I don't know if we've even found one of those yet. This is just pure desert. Yeah, I don't think we found an oasis yet. Maybe it's just not meant to be. <laughs> maybe, maybe desert grass is just not meant to be. I guess I did find a lot of other things that can be planted on uh, on the sand, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. All right, I'll keep my eyes peeled as I'm exploring, but for right now, let's head back to the zoo and see what damage we can do with the plants that we got. All right, back here at the exhibits, there's Captain Craig. Let's give him a nice little wave. All right, uh, we're back here at the exhibit now. I did grab some sugarcane also because I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I like sugarcane growing in the desert. It seems a little strange. But we can hide the water. We can do it. We have the power. Just like that. I think that looks pretty good for a desert area. Now we have these dead bushes. We have a whole bunch of stuff, including this stuff here. Let's go ahead and uh, drop one of these guys right there. And then some dead bushes we can sprinkle in periodically throughout this too. This is already livening this up. <laughs> By adding dead bushes, we're livening this up a whole lot. <laughs> All right. That's looking a lot better. I do wish I had desert grass, though. That really kind of irks me that I, I couldn't find that. Um, I, well, I don't want to overdo it with these these prickly pear cacti because... Oh, I just broke that one. Because, <laughs> because I think just having one in here looks pretty good. For, I really do wish that I, I found some desert... Uh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Fine. Do I have any uh, bone meal freely on me? No? Do I have to run back to the base to get that? Yep. Okay, back like I never left. All right. I also went and grabbed one of these... Uh, desert roses we're gonna drop this in somewhere right there bam it's actually a rose too it's not even a poppy so how about them apples all right let's grab ourselves some bone meal here don't need much for in this area uh, and we're going to bone meal the grass that we have available which is not a lot oh get out of here we definitely don't want that all right so how does that look not terrible this can probably drop down though oh my gosh it grew big again no, bad, bad. Is this like only gonna grow large grass here? You know what? You know what? You know what? Ha ha! I outsmarted you. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That is the desert area for the scorpion. Now, the jungle area is actually almost done as well. Actually, hold on, it's not quite done with the desert area. Let's quickly uh, grab this. We're gonna dot in a button or two because I think buttons look really good. 
Good, good. I think that's all we need to do here. Same thing for in this area, but I'll save the buttons for last. Uh, now, we got these firework uh, flower bushes from Finney's shop that I definitely want to put in here somewhere. So, let's... Uh, I keep spinning in circles. <laughs> let's drop them in somewhere. I suppose I can't plant them on concrete powder, can I? Uh, let's do that. I might not I might not only need to add one in here, just to add a little bit of extra color to the thing. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too terrible at all. Alright, so that's yeah, that's fine. Um What other things can I squeeze in here? I just spent all that time grabbing all that stuff for like dead ant uh, dead plants and stuff. I didn't even bother to grab things for like lively areas. You know one thing that I could do? Hold on one second, I gotta go grab something again real quick. Okay, I only have ten jungle logs. It's not a lot. Let's see what I can do with that. Let's try popping this up right here. And a little bit of that there. And a little bit right there. And then, taking these cocoa beans, slapping them on there. Now, those will grow nice and big. I still have seven jungle logs, so I can still work with this a little bit. Oh, okay, hold on wait a second. There's a problem with adding it onto this wall. It's seen on the other exhibit, so. <laughs> um, you know what? Oops. Well, well, I'll add that back in a sec just a second. You know what? What if I brought this out just a little bit? Actually, you know what? That didn't look too too bad. Well, that didn't look too bad until I messed it up. Something like that, right? And then put that in the front. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that looks <laughs> looks a lot better actually. In fact, I, I kind of want to. Have this jut off the wall too. I don't. I don't really want that uh, same size or same. Uh, you know, I, I need depth. I need depth, people. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm stuttering my way through it because I'm all excited and flustered now. Uh huh. Yep, yep. All right. I'm liking that a lot better. That's starting to look a lot more like a jungle-esque area. So we gotta go ahead and add this back. But maybe not like right there. Maybe we'll throw that. I need to get some uh, grass back here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, I don't really have much in line of, of plants that I can put inside of the jungle other than what we currently have right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use bone meal and we're going to make it look better with that. Okay, I'm not really liking how every single block, or every single thing that I bone meal turns into tall grass. Oi. Okay, there we go. Got the grass put in. I can hide that somewhere for right now. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and actually put the glass in front of this thing now. And this one too. I think these are as good as it's gonna get. There we go, jungle, desert. Now, I do need to make a couple of iron doors, which I can probably make here on the fly, come to think of it. Because I'm pretty sure I, yeah, I got some iron right there. And we'll make ourselves a couple of pressure plates to open it on the, on the back side. I don't really need them opening on the front. I'm gonna need buttons though for the fr uh, for the front because I do need to get out of here when the tarantula is bearing down on me. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that, and then we are going to use these buttons on the walls to open them like that. And on the back side, we're going to dig this thing up here and dig this thing up here, and we're gonna put down pressure plates. That way we can just walk right in to the exhibit, get eaten by the tarantula, walk right back out. I don't think the tarantula is going to be escaping in there as I'm leaving, so I think that'll be fine. Same thing with the scorpion, I think it's going to be just fine. If we uh, if we just go quickly, we should have no problem. But yeah, iron doors make it look more official. Now, I do need to pretty up the back side of this a little bit. One last thing i got to do before I wrap up this episode uh, is I got I gotta pretty up the back side. I also need some names too, so if you guys could please down in the comment section. We're naming a tarantula and a scorpion, so please in the comment section let me know. But what I need to do is I need to make a little bit of an access tunnel in the stone back here uh, so that we can actually get to these uh, get to these animals. Alright, so we got this little tunnel right here, which if I go quickly I can probably just slap that down right there and then put a button on the side, put that up and I can get in here quickly. And then, of course, pressure plate on the inside so I can get out of here quickly. All right, this is just the tunnel, the access tunnel. This is just for my own own use, really, so it's not like a big deal. But it allows me to get into these exhibits. Now, let's go into the scorpion exhibit real quick because I'm actually going to put some of these animals down. Hold on. I, I was just saying earlier in the episode that I'm wondering if they will die because uh, 
like damage they'll take or something like that. They should only have like half a heart. So let's head back to the hidey hole real fast and brew, brew up a couple of splash potions of healing. And hopefully that'll actually heal these things back up to full health. There we go. Now I don't actually know if these potions are <laughs> gonna even work on these mobs or not, but we're gonna find out. All right, let's start off with the scorpions since I have three of them and if things go horribly, horribly, horribly wrong, <laughs> <laughs> I won't uh, won't completely die uh, because I'll have I'll have some extras. All right, so scorpion in this net, and we have uh, some name tags here that are just called placeholder. Remember, if you guys could down in the comments section, give me your best scorpion and tarantula names. I need one tarantula and three scorpion names. Okay. Oh, that thing like jumps. Placeholder? Can I get placeholder on there? Okay, I got him. I accidentally named him twice. Okay, so now I'm down to one. Can I? Ooh, I, yeah, I got it. Okay. Ow, 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 oh, God. Oh, he died. He bit me and died. Oh, I have thorns. <gasps> I have two scorpions. <laughs> I have two scorpions and a tarantula. So if you can put your names down there, that'd be great. Emperor Scorpion. I mean, these are vicious little guys. Okay, well. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I got to remember to take off thorns before I come in here. Do I have thorns and anything else? I don't think so. All right, so that was one. <laughs> I'm going to probably put down the other two real quick and try to name them fast and milk them fast and then get out of here quick because these things are going to just attack me. I should probably heal, uh, eat, eat fully too. <laughs> I can't scoop them up again, not with this backpack on, because this backpack gives me strength and I'll do more than a half a heart of damage then if I do that. So if I am going to scoop these guys up again ever, I have to uh, take my backpack off. <laughs> All right, let's try to do this quickly if we can. Put him down. Oh, he hopped into the bush. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> name him. Oh, no, not the bow. Name him. Name him. Got him. All right, name that one. And can we milk this guy? Oh, man, there's going to be two of them in here. I'm tempted just to put one. I'm tempted to put one because this is already tricky enough. Ow! Oh, he poisoned me. Can I get? Can I get you? I got the. I got the venom. I got the venom. Let's just get out of here if I can. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Bugs. Bugs are dangerous people. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should just. Maybe this is just gonna be one scorpion and one tarantula in these exhibits. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Here, I didn't think I was gonna put three in here. I would die going in there. Yeah, we'll just put one. One for each. I have one scorpion and one tarantula. If you could, names down in the comment section, please. You know, I didn't even see if I could heal this guy up, so we're just gonna be brave and run in there again. Does this guy need healing, even? I gotta, like, see him. Yes, he does. Did that work? It did, it did. Okay, he's healed up. Whew. Let's go try to get the tarantula in here without killing this one. <laughs> That would be really upsetting if I if I did. We're gonna place, and I'm gonna. I don't want to place him next to a block. I don't want him to suffocate. I don't. I'm not sure about the mud either. So we're gonna put him on this green concrete powder, powder right here. Try to name him right away. Try to milk him right away. Try to heal him right away, and then get out of here. I guess I don't really care if I get poisoned. God, they jump first. It scares the crap out of me every time he does that. All right, named him, heal him, and got the venom. I think. Oh, ow! Oh God! Ugh, I missed the button. <laughs> Getting attacked by a tarantula. Please close. Anytime. Okay, I think he's in there. Alright, we got three bottles of venom. I'm really severely poisoned. <laughs> Alright, so, tarantula is in there. Remember, I have to go back in there next week and name these things when you guys give me, <laughs> give me your best name. So we got a tarantula and a scorpion exhibit. That's pretty cool. Now, before we get out of here today, there's one last little thing I want to do. Um, I want to use these bottles of venom to create some trank darts. All right, so iron nuggets, the venom bottle, and the wool gives me 12. Oh, I get the bottles back, too. How about that? That's pretty cool. Gives me 12 tranquilizer darts. Interesting. Okay, so they're a lot more difficult to make <laughs> in this version of Zawa than the other one. Uh, and I believe my trank gun is right here. So that means I can actually get to work on actually like 
tranking things. I tried hit. I tried reloading. <laughs> I can actually trank larger animals now. Interesting. I'm thinking that the way you capture tranquilized animals is that you actually it gives you time to build an area to allow them to then wake up and then go into the capture cage. Plus, uh, I mean, if you get creative enough, we actually technically don't even need tranquilizers since we were able to capture African lions without worrying about that. So. But alrighty, guys, I think it's going to be time for me to wrap this episode up. If you did, oh, I'm not wearing my pants. How how embarrassing. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, please go down and smash that like button. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode of Zawa. Uh, I will be back next week with more uh, zoo building for your eyeballs to enjoy and your ear holes to enjoy. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys next week. If you do want to join the server, remember, check out my Patreon. You can you can be here with me. So, all right. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And bye-bye.